everyone talking about white tea by TSVGA. This has 80 plus ingredients and is 100% natural. Some of the main ingredients are different types of vetiver, woods, spices, and greens, including from their green, brown, gold, Indian, Indonesian, Haitian vetiver. Uh, so clearly it's very vetiver dominated. There's also like four types of sandalwood. There's oud, there's gayak wood, black pepper, ginger, bay leaf, tarragon, clove, caraway, coriander, cardamom, pimento, tonka, cassia, pink pepper, star anise, bamboo, sweet grass, celery, oak moss, and probably a bunch of others if there's over 80 ingredients. This is definitely a vetiver bomb. So you have to like vetiver without a doubt to enjoy this. But if you do, this is a very well done take on vetiver. Deep, rich, kind of woodsy vetiver. Almost kind of like the way that uh, Aesop does vetiver as a note for those who have tried some of their more popular ones. Yeah, I like it, but I don't love it. And that's essentially how I feel about vetiver in general. So makes sense. But despite this having a laundry list and then some of ingredients. It smells really well blended and cohesive, but still complex at the same time. So I think it does that, having that big list of ingredients perfectly. It doesn't smell like a mess of just like clashing accords or anything like that. This is like high quality and classy, but it's also kind of like casually confident at the same time. So I think it's really versatile. It could work for a lot of different occasions. Uh, I think it, it does seem like it represents a white tee. Clearly I don't <laughs> wear them, but I think from what the way people talk about white teas, uh, leans pretty masculine to my nose, which makes sense because vetiver is considered more masculine. Yeah, overall, I think this is a very well done vetiver fragrance. Uh, really no complaints about it, except for the price. This is $329 for a 50 ml. Um, good longevity, moderate projection. Those parts aren't an issue. The smell itself is an issue, but isn't an issue, but like, yeah, I just even I'm sure it's like worth it from a quality perspective with the ingredients. But if we're just talking about scent, I mean, that's a real maybe if it was 100 mil, but I just think that that's too much for a 50 mil. But it is good. And if you love vetiver, I do suggest uh, checking it out. I'll put a link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample if you want to do so.